My name is Chu Zhang from Simon Fraser University. I'm going to talk about my poster titled Stabilizing Photovoltaic Performance of PDB Polymer Solar Cells Using ASI Crosslinkers. Polymer solar cells are thought to be one of the new generation photovoltaic technologies that will replace or share the market with the dominating crystalline silicon solar cells due to their potential of high-speed, low-cost, row-to-row processing. Although the steady growing efficiency keeps reassuring researchers the bright future of polymer solar cells, the lack of long-term stable performance hinders its entry into the PV market. Polymer solar cells usually adopt the bucket junction morphology in their active layers. The interpenetrating network of donor and acceptor facilitates the separation of the bond electron hole pairs generated by the absorption of photons. However, the cast morphology is thermodynamically unstable and tend to undergo large-scale phase segregation and solar cell operating conditions, which negatively affects the charge separation process. This degradation in turn causes an exponential drop of the photo conversion efficiency as evidenced by accelerated stability tests. One way to stabilize the bulk junction morphology is through crosslinking. It forms covalent bonds connecting materials on various cross-linking sites when stimulated by heat, UV light, or other stimuli during the fabrication process. When initiated, cross-linking occurs within the same species, between different species, or both, freezing the bucket junction at the most favorable morphology. Among the well-studied cross-linkers, azide is capable of efficiently binding to PCBM molecules, forming a fullerene monoadduct non-destructive to the electronic property of PCBM. This strategy has been previously exploited in the P3HT PCBM system with azide group residing on the grafted polystyrene blocks. While most of these studies demonstrate cross-linking effects on the well-established P3HT PCBM system, there is an increasing demand on stabilizing the efficiency of systems using high-performance polymers. Polythenothiophene benzodiethylphene PTB is one of the polymers in this kind. One of its variants has achieved a record PCE of 9.2% with an inverted device structure. However, its efficiency is also known to degrade rapidly due to large phase segregation. In this work, we demonstrate the performance stabilization of PTB PCBM with a simple, easy synthesized small molecule AZ crosslinker. The crosslinker used in this study is 1,8-diazido-octane. It is synthesized through substituting 1,8-dibromo-octane with sodium azide and purified by column chromatography. PDB was synthesized by steel polycondensation of two monomers purchased from Sunatec. The polymer was purified by soxalate extraction with methanol, hexanes, and finally collected in a chloroform. NMR spectroscopy was performed to confirm the chemical structure. Gel permeation chromatography was performed to measure the molecular weight of the polymer. Azide groups was identified by infrared spectroscopy. Solar cell devices were fabricated in a conventional structure following a literature procedure similar to the one published on the first PDB paper. The solution that contains 1 to 1.5 weight ratio of PDB PC71BM was equally divided into two portions. To one portion was added 14% weight ratio of diazido octane. Devices cast from this portion were thermally annealed at 150 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes before cathode deposition in order to initiate the crosslinking. PV properties were characterized under one sun illumination from 150 watts xenon arc lamp equipped with an AM 1.5D filter. Stability test was performed by heating all the devices inside the glove box up to 4 hours at 150 degrees and testing PV performance after every 1 hour for heating. Diazido octane was obtained as a light yellowish oil with a 52% yield, a sharp high intensity peak at 2100 cm-1 one on the IR spectrum confirmed the presence of azide groups. After purification and final precipitation in methanol, GPC showed PDB has a number average molecular weight of 34 kg per mole with a poly 
dispersity index of 1.4. The PV, perform PV categorization results are summarized in Figure 2 and Figure 3. Despite that all devices show moderate to low efficiencies due to unoptimized fabrication conditions and all the materials, the S2 group cast with diazido can show the stabilized performance during the four hours of extended thermal nearing under 150 degree. The control group S1 without the cross-linker quickly lost and never restored the efficiency of the first hour of thermal nearing. The individual IV curves of S2 device remained almost unchanged throughout the annealing process, while those of the S1 device flattened out immediately after annealing, indicating a loss of photovoltaic properties. These results clearly indicate that diazido octane is capable of stabilizing the performance of PTB, PCB, and polymer solar cells. And this type of solar cell lose PV performance quickly when thermally annealed. The introduction of diazido octane and the required thermal annealing sacrifice some PV performance. The amount of diazido octane time and temperature of the initial annealing need to be tuned to best preserve the PV properties. As for the mechanism of the cross-linking, Earlier attempt of synthesizing modified PTV with azide on the side chain resulted in an insoluble gel, indicating a possibility that azide also crosslinks to the PTV backbone. In the light of this finding, we propose that three types of crosslinking occur in the active layer PTB with PTB, PCBM with PCBM, and PTB with PCBM. Further studies are needed to investigate the real story of cross-linking process. Microscopic images of the film before and after cross-linking should also follow up. In conclusion, we've synthesized and characterized the cross-linking cross-linker 1,8 diazido octane, capable of cross-linking materials in the in the active layer of PDB polymer solar cells. We've shown that the devices with the uh, zero octane exhibited stable PV performance after prolonged heating process. This crosslinker may be applied to achieve a polymer solar cell with a longer lifetime.